Yo, Psychosis Hella Coast, Prison Planet Records. You just seen on Don't Flop that I done the Digs episode where I went around my house and showed fucking showed you like all my house and shit. There's a lot of stuff we could we still couldn't show on that just because there was not enough time and the original edit were like fucking 40 minutes or something stupid. Uh, but basically I've got about fucking 800 VHS tapes, like a lot of old fucking unreleased shit and stuff. And yesterday I sorted my storage room out and I turned it into a little VHS library because I had nothing to do that day. So yeah, man, let's go in and I'll show you what I've done. So basically, fucking you take this up a bit. Right, these are all my VHS, man. Oh, it's like a little old video store in here. So wait, what I'm going to do is just quickly go through a couple, man. A lot of people, I put a picture on my Instagram today and a lot of people were asking me like, oh, have you got this film? Have you got that film? I thought I'd just do a little video, man. Um, so yeah, basically, just starting at the fucking, starting at the top. Uh, again, I've got like a lot of my best stuff in a cabinet in there. I'll show you that later. But this is like a lot of, a lot of cool shit that I just forgot I even had. So just going through them all, man. Mad Max, just found out today they're doing a Mad Max 4 without Mel Gibson, apparently, with the guy from Warrior. The mad guy, which is cool, but a bit shit. Anyway, Death Wish 3. Now, that is one of my favourite films ever. If you played Streets of Rage, oh, ba -bom. if you played Streets of Rage, yeah, that's kind of like fucking hell. That's like the movie version of Streets of Rage. It's fucking mad. Angry Video Game Nerd does a fucking right good review of this. But yeah, man, Charles Bronson, Death Wish 3. It's nothing like the other Death Wish films. The other ones are more like thrillers, but that's a fucking complete stupid action, like mad gang war shit. Robot Jocks, that is one of my favourite films ever. Like mad stop motion shit by the People that done Arena have got that in there, um, and that's like in the future instead of solving wars, instead of solving debates with wars, they solve them with just two guys in massive fucking stop motion robots that fucking kick the shit out of each other, and that's sick, sick, sick. Rutger Hauer, split second, another bad man, sick fucking space truckers. Maniac Cop, one, two, and three, bad films. Uh, Tom Savini's Night of the Living Dead remake, that's fucking sick. If, never, if you've never watched that and you two zombie shit, then you're slacking, man. So, so you send out <laughs> fucking Monster Squad, man. That's another sick one. That I was telling someone about that other day. That's kind of like the Goonies if they went against the Universal Monsters. And it's one that not a lot of people have seen, but I don't know why, because it should have been a fucking classic, like a kid's classic in the 80s and that, but it's, it's one a lot of people sleep on. Um, Extra, another sick one. It's this, the Sword and the Sorcerer. That's like some mad Conan the Barbarian ripoff, but it's sick. They're just bad just for the artwork. I always tell people, I say, I collect these, a lot of them just for the artwork. Look at this man. The one mercenary, the terrorists feared. Look at that game. <laughs> fucking mad Rambo ripoffs and that, but they got the sick fucking VHS artwork, man. Like some mad painted shit. Cannibal Holocaust, that's how I got my name, as I've said before. First Blood, one of my favourite films ever. Another one of Stallone's early ones, an old Death Race 2000 with David Carradine as Frankenstein. Fuck that fucking Jason Statham remake one. That's that's what you need. That's fucked. Um, Battle of the fucking Battle of the Rock Lords Gobots. That's why I collect the fucking transforming Gobot toys because of that. The, the Rock Lords, another sick one. That's fucking Beast Stuart Gordon's From Beyond. Some right good fucking 80s effects in that. With Ken Foray from Dawn of the Dead and all. The body bags, that's like a compendium. They were like a mad little fad in the 80s to make compendium films where it's like three or four short films put into one with like some madhead telling the story between like the Crypt Keeper stuff, like Tales from the Crypts, but they've done lots of these. That's John Carpenter's body bags, that's a sick one. Cannibal Ferox 2. Can't even remember how much of a fucking link that's got to Cannibal Ferox 1, probably none at all. Death Wish 5, that's when the Death Wish started to go a bit downhill, but I still love him, man. Charles Bronson was a fucking bad man. The Blob. As far as 80s effects go, that is fucking sick. That is like some of the best 80s effects I've ever seen. It's a remake of the Steve McQueen black and white one, but it's fucking big. Look at these Crypt of the Living Dead. These mad, mad artwork on them. I don't want to knock videos over. Look at that, some mad sick fucking artwork. I love that retro artwork, bro. Put this on my Instagram yesterday. Freddy's dead in 3D. Someone said that they got it with the glasses. They're a fucking G if they have. Dark Man, Sam Raimi, Bad Man. Got loads of them in there. I'll show you them later. That's the Nightmare on Elm Street TV series. Yeah, then he's got like some of these, the artwork on them. Like, I know I talk about artwork a lot, but it's sick. Raiders of the Living Dead. That's a sick one. That's that's some that's some mad old fucking zombie film. Geek, that's mad. That's about some guy that bites the head off animals and he's fucking mad. I think Necro's just based the, based the cover on that by looking at it. That's what I've seen. That's another one, kind of a compendium. That's what Vince of Christ said. We'll whisper to a scream from the three short films put into one. Video Dead, that's another sick one. 
and the zombies come out of the telly. The willies, man, that's fucking sick, man. That used to shit me up when I was a little kid, man. That monster there, the janitor that's fucking kills bullies in a school. That's another three or four short films in one. Demons, that's sick. Dario Argento's Demons 1 and 2, fucking beast. Robo Warriors, that's like a remake of fucking... A remake of Robot Jocks, one I talked about with the robots that fight. Um, and that's got James Remar, Ajax from the Warriors in, that's sick. Troll, that's beast, man. I used to borrow that from the fucking library when I was little. Fucking mad, like some mad troll that kills kids. Critters, another classic. That's the fucking original rental box, the big one. Uh, fucking hell, these, these lords, man. I could go on forever. Look at that. That's all. That's some fucking st uh, little Schwarzeneggers. I've got all Schwarzeneggers on DVD, but I just keep them anyway because they're sick. One of the original uh, releases of Warriors. That's another sick one. Oh, one of fucking some old Godzillas. I've got loads of Godzillas. I've got every King Kong film that were made. Like King Kong, King Kong Lives, Son of Kong. That's the fucking... Missing in Action 1 and 2, number 3 is down here, there's some sick fucking Chuck Norris movies. Sidekicks, that's my favourite Chuck Norris film ever, I think. It's more of a, like a kid film when I was growing up, man, I used to watch that every fucking day. Rafe, man, if you've not seen Rafe, yeah, with Charlie Sheen, he's fucking slacking, he's like some mad cyborg ghost thing that kills fucking street racers. That's a Rafe film. Fucking, for some reason, I've got every land before time, I used to like them when I was little. <laughs> Troll 2, nothing like Troll 1. Dolls, that's another sick one about dolls in a haunted house that kill people. Altered States, another sick one. I've got the fucking soundtrack for that I know somewhere. Some mad sample shit. Lost in Time, that's Whackworks 2. That's got Bruce Campbell in it. Fucking hell, yeah, there's loads, man. Nemesis 1, 2 and 3. I've not watched them for fucking ages, but they're sick. House where hell throws over. I don't even remember this one. Some next shit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Missing in Action 3, Chuck Norris Braddock. Spooky, some more fucking mad artwork for you. Man. Ninja Terminator, Godfrey Ho, he made about 200 fucking movies and every single one of them had ninja in the title and they were all like mad cheap fucking red, purple, yellow camouflage ninjas. So yeah man, that's like a lot of like my best shit. Then I've got all this throwaway stuff man, I've got like all fucking, just loads of like fucking Thundercats, Mask, Mobile Armored Strike Command. Transformers, Beavis and Butthead, Spider-Man, fucking Ewoks cartoon, South Park, just loads of like, you know, like throwaway shit. There's no point even throwing it away. Since there's no point selling it. Since it's not worth shit anymore. A lot of these videos, so rather than chuck them, I just keep them. Bit of fucking, bit of Giver and that, like my Giver. It's only anime I really watch is Giver. Got every fucking Ray Harry housing on VHS and DVD. That's my fucking. My guy that does all the stop motion stuff that I met, I talked about that in digs. But yeah, man, there's fucking loads. You know I mean, I've got like, every fucking police academy on VHS. The Wanderers, if you've seen that, that is a sick film. I've got somewhere, I've got a sick VHS case of that. I don't know where it is. Jamie Kemp gave me that one of my fucking, one of my boys. But um, yeah, man, fucking Nightmare Vacation 3. That's sick. I remember, look, I can't really get it out because it's going to fall with one hand. Um, but that. On the front cover, it's got like Freddie, Jason, and this bird in it. Uh, Ange Angelica, I think her name is, or Angela. And uh, I always used to think it was some crossover film until I actually watched it and it weren't. Homo Cop, someone commented on that yesterday. It's like fucking Robocop with a pink cover. So they called it Homo Cop, which is fucking funny. They said, I think that's apparently part of the original like trio box set release. I don't know, I've only got that one. Uh, but yeah, man, I've got like every episode of Knight Rider. Just goes on and on and on and on. Oh, fucking Godzilla's Free Ninjas, another fucking classic. They're called Tommy Villis, Tom Tom from that little fat cunt. Uh, fucking all the tremors. But yeah, man, just like bare films, I'll fucking I'll show you the ones that's in the front room. So yeah, man, a lot of these are behind the toys and shit, but that's like another version of Cannibal Holocaust, Zombie Flesh Eaters 1, 2, and 3, and uh, Battle Royal 1 and 2. Bad Taste, Basket Case 1, 2, and 3. If you're not seeing them, they're another fucking sick 80s one. I know Madness likes that shit. Um. Got all the fucking Nightmare on Elm Street, all the Friday the 13th, and then they go to all the fucking Child's Plays, all the Halloweens, Toolbox Murders, Shogun Assassin, another classic one, a lot of people know about that. Hills of Eyes 1 and 2, I Spit on Your Grave, The Burning, Dead and Buried, that's another sick one, man, that gets slept on. The Candyman's, this fucking movie, Street Trash, man, if you've not seen that, Street Trash, get that watch, that's like all these mad hobos drink this experimental beer that makes them go crazy and melt, that's another sick one. They Live... If you if you wear a fucking hat or a jumper saying obey on it and you've never watched They Live, you're a fucking mug because you need to know about They Live before you wear a fucking top that says obey on it like a right dickhead. Uh, Maniac, that's another one. That's Tom Savini gets his head blown off in that. Old Texas Chainsaw Massacres, original The Thing. 
it's that house by the cemetery and the beyond them. I lose your fulci fucking sick ones, man. The crazies, George Romero's original crazies. Got fucking all the all the Hellraisers that, re that they released on VHS. I had to buy these other ones from America. They're the other Hellraisers they released, but they were only released in America. That I mentioned on video, because in America they come in like cardboard sleeves. They don't have plastic covers on them, which I never got. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. Uh, Evil Dead 1, 2 and 3 fucking classics. Incredible Melting Man. Fucking hell, I forgot about that. That is a sick film about some astronaut that picks up a virus in space that makes him go crazy and melt a bit like street trash, but just one guy. Mountain of the Cannibal God. Fucking hell. I fell in love with Ursula Andress watching that. Big bird from... Um, the bird from James Bond, but she's fucking sick, man, as she's in that film. What we got there? Someone asked me yesterday, that Tom King guy asked me about Meet the Feebles. That's there. I've got that on original. All the Halloweens. Some Exorcist there, uh, a lot of the George Romero original shit there. Um, yeah, man, that City of the Living Dead, another Lucio Fulci. So that's just a lot of my shit. These are another ones that, that come like from America in the, in the cardboard sleeves, man. A lot of this shit was only released in America in the video. Fucking hard to find over here. Fucking hell, we got there. That's the Freddy's Nightmares, the TV series I run about. Slaughter High, that's another sick one. Where's back like, Arena? That's one of my favourites ever. That I used to borrow from video shop and that one. And Endgame, that's why I call my album Endgame. Fucking sick old film. I love this one with Al Cleaver and shit in. Beast, like a Mad Max ripoff, but it's sick. It's sick as fuck. I even made a song for that. If you search on YouTube, there's an old song, just type in Psychosis Holocaust Endgame or something. Um, and I did like a fucking track talking all about that ages ago when I first started. Masters of the Universe original VHS, that's a sick one. Not a very good film. Nothing really much to do with Masters of the Universe. It's right weird. They came into America and they were on a turn here and that. But yeah, another nice one. Uh, Tetsuo 1 and 2, they're sick. Contagium. I met the guy that's in there. That's the same guy, Ian McCullough, that sings on my flesh eaters. And he was telling me about that film. And I'd never even seen it until that point. Now it's sick. Some more fucking Chuck Norris. Hero and the Terror. Bah. Love my Toxic Crusaders. Valley of the Guanji. Another fucking Ray Ariel's the one that gets slept on a bit. Vindicator. That's sick as fuck, that actually. That's like some mad fucking Robocop ripoff, but it actually came out before Robocop. So it's mad, but that does set out Pops Robocop, but the original film we made before Robocop. Zombie Creeping Flesh, that's another fucking sick one. Italian fucking zombie film. And that's a, this is a nice one that not a lot of people know about, but if you're from the UK, man, check it and you like your old shit. The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue, also called Let Sleeping Corpses Lie, and it's fucking mad. It's got the guy that done Zombie Flesh Eaters. Um, Bit of zombie flesh eaters effects in it. So that's that's sick man. Maximum overdrive with fucking Charlie Sheen. Another sick one man, you need to check that and cyborg with Van Damme. That's a fucking sick movie. Hardware, that's also a sick one. That's like based on a 2008 short comic. It's like a post-apocalyptic one that's set in London. It's got fucking Lemmy in it from Motorhead. It plays a taxi driver, a, cab, a taxi cab driver, and it's like a boat, which is sick. Day of the Triffid, it's one of my favourite things ever. I know they remade that a bit ago, eh? but it wasn't, it wasn't bad, it was not good. And then Eliminators, that's a nice one to end it on actually. That's a fucking sick one. One of the full moon projects, like fucking, it's got like a ninja, a cyborg, a little robot, and loads of fucking mad people all team up. So, it was mad up. so yeah, a nice one. So yeah man, you'll fucking recognise this. Some dickhead on YouTube said I'd love to go around and open that Sprite can. Bro, if you come round my fucking house, I'll put a machete in your face, you fucking mug. Anyway, Psychosis Holocaust, Prison Planet Records, BAM!